Aoife. Today we'll be learning a bit more about instruments. So I know that you've already learned about wind instruments with my friend Ashling. So today we're going to be learning about string instruments. Can anyone name any string instruments? I think the main ones that you guys might know are the violin, the guitar, the ukulele, the banjo, the harp. Um, you know, there are a few more, you know, your cello, viola, double bass, but you know, you guys might know those ones the best. So does anyone know how string instruments work? Obviously they have strings and you play those strings. So you might pluck them or bow them, like on a violin with a bow. Um, and the strings actually move. So I know you were learning about vibrations in another video. So you know now that the strings vibrate and that's what it's called. And we need vibrations to have a sound. So do you think that a string on its own, just a string, would make a noise? Like if I pulled it as tight as a harp string, say, and plucked it. I don't actually think so. And we're gonna have a little demonstration now. So I have a string with me and I'm gonna fix it over here and pull it really tight. And I'm gonna play it so that you can hear. So you can't actually hear the noise that comes from it. So what does that mean? It means that on our instruments, we don't actually need just strings. There are a little bit more to the instrument that you need as well in order to get that sound. So think about the guitar. And I have one here. So we have the strings. But what else do we have? The body of a guitar, this big bit here that's made out of wood, it's pretty similar in most guitars. And what it is, is there's a hollow body. So there's nothing inside there and they have a big hole. Can you think of what that might be for? The sound actually comes out the hole and inside the hollow body, it lets the noise or the vibrations of the music bounce around and it changes the sound. So that it's not just a string, but it, it makes a note. It has that nice tone to it. And you can actually see that on the harp, it's the same thing. We have these strings and they come out and the sound comes out the holes in the back. You might hear it there. This big box is called the sound box, this whole big thing. And you need them in order to have the sound if you don't have anything else. So with the string instruments, if you think of the ukulele, it definitely has a sound box. The banjo, the body is quite hollow. Um, what else is there? The violin, we have those twirly holes on the side. That actually has a sound box as well. So that's how string instruments work. Um, and if you're making one, just remember that you'll need to have that hollow body in order to get the sound. Because I know you might be making your own instruments later. So that's it for me today. Thanks guys.